Dawn of the Planet of the Apes is directed by Matt Reeves and stars Jason Clark, Andy Serkis, and Gary Oldman. The fragile peace between apes and humans is threatened as mistrust and betrayal threatens to plunge both tribes into a war for dominion over the Earth. Now this was my first real introduction to the Planet of the Apes franchise and the trilogy itself and I thought it was great when I first saw it and now that I rewatched it I gotta say this movie still holds up incredibly well. Not in terms of just the visual effects but I think the story is well handled too. It's a lot darker than Rise of the Planet of the Apes, it's a lot more grim. The human race is at their lowest point. They're trying to get electricity and power running once again. In order to do that, you need to go to this hydro plant and turn on the power. And the apes tribes are just trying to live their life away from the humans. And there's no conflict for a while. Apart from a few encounters here and there that are very minor. They don't want anything to do with each other. And the only reason why they would ever come is to either warn them to stay away from them or to maybe give them something back as a sign of peace and no war. As Caesar just doesn't want anything to do with the humans and he doesn't want a war brewing. But the human race just thinks of these apes as primal beasts that just wants to destroy everything. When in reality, they just want to be left alone. They don't want to have anything to do with human race. But unfortunately, this disease that will quickly spread into dangerous levels in the next film is eroding the earth, it's eroding people's inhabitants in Earth and basically destroying humanity with their presence and so while you understand why humanity needs to destroy these apes it should never have happened in the first place in the way the apes were treated in the first film if we didn't see how the apes were like in the first movie, then we wouldn't have root for them to try and make some sort of success in life for themselves at this point in time now. And Jason Clark's character sees that. He sees the humanity within these apes. He sees that they just want peace. And so the relationship between his character and Caesar grows exponentially as a bit of conflict in the beginning between them obviously but as they grow with each other throughout the course of the film as they start to understand one another they become a much more likable duo that are willing to help each other out and villains like Gary Oldman's character and Koba in the film don't make it any easier for these characters to try and make some sort of peace with one another they just want to see the other side burn and they are willing to do whatever it takes to just do that. Especially Koba, who is the main antagonist in this film. I really like how we actually got one of the apes be the main problem in this story. Because it further proves humanity's fear of apes and legitimizes that. And unfortunately, Caesar is powerless to do that. Because these people just only want some sort of resolution to their problems. They want to feel validated in going to war with these apes. And that is what Gary Oldman feels. He feels validated to just destroy all these apes and hopefully save humanity. And the thing is, he's a lot more humanized. He's not as villainous as Koba. He has good intentions. He wants to help his people. But he is definitely going about it the wrong way and is misguided. But you could see where he's coming from after everything he's been through. And I thought that was very well explored. Especially in a moment in the film that actually got me tearing with the character. Due to Gary Ullman's great acting abilities. And that is just a testament to Matt Reeves' fantastic directing in this film. He gives this movie a darker tone than the previous film. It's a lot darker lit. The environments are a lot more grim looking. This is a post-apocalyptic world where apes are just roaming around. The cities have vines and grass growing all over them. Humanity is definitely eroding. And the visual effects to bring this world and these apes to life are absolutely flawless. Not a single bad effect that I could think of in this entire film. The motion capture is excellent. The way the apes are portrayed are great. The story also was really engaging and has a lot of twists and turns that keep you on the edge of your seat. 
And all in all, I just found this movie to be, in terms of the filmmaking sense, incredibly well made in terms of the production, in terms of the visuals, and the direction. It is all absolutely top tier. My only problem with the film is that some of the other human characters like Jason Clark's family and some of his friends aren't memorable enough and they don't stand out enough as totally fleshed out characters. They have characteristics, but I never got myself emotionally attached to them. Only with Jason Clark and Gary Oldman's characters individually. But in terms of the people around them, apart from humanity obviously, I just didn't care for the side characters really. Only Jason Clark and Gary Oldman. And that's because they're giving really good performances. But other than that, Dawn of the Planet of the Apes improves upon everything the first film had going for. And that film was still really good. This just had better visuals to work with, it had a bigger budget, a greater story, and all in all better acting in general. The performance by Andy Serkis as Caesar is still fantastic. I love his character and his journey, how he has a family and is doing whatever he can to save them. All in all, this was just Everything I want in a sequel, this is the Empire Strikes Back of the Planet of the Apes trilogy, at least the remake trilogy, and I'm going to give Donna the Planet of the Apes an A. Thank you guys so much for watching, please like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you guys next time.